It has begun. So, how's the life of an ex-angel suiting you? Can't complain. Sex is no longer off limits. Right, of course. Well, what can I say? Had the light fired me. You shouldn't give them so many reasons. You know, there are rules. Come on, Barbara, I just did my job. I was the best at the light gun. Now I have to get by like any other unemployed human being. It's pretty cold down here, you know? Is it? Right. Etherlight took away your powers. You're not an angel anymore. Did you... Um... Do you ever... What? Do you ever miss... Uh, never mind. Look, I have something very important to tell you. There's been a... Hold on a sec. Yeah? Mr. Lennox. So, you're still alive. How convenient. Who is this? Your salvation. If you survive, meet me at East Road Cemetery. What the hell? Forgive me, Ryan. Now run! Get out of here now! Don't you...
Welcome, Mr. Linux. I presume you've guessed by now who it is you're talking to. I've got some theories. One of them says you're Lucius Black, head of the Abyss Agency. Other lights in my former mortal enemy arranges a meeting in a cemetery. How very thoughtful of you. Enemy? Why would you call that someone who's here to save you? Save me? Well, look at you, all helpful. I would never have thought salvation was up your alley. You know better than to presume this is charity work. I'm here because I believe your current unemployment to be a terrible waste of potential. It was foolish of Etherlight to take their top player out of the game. And you thought you'd get me to switch teams and play Fewer Sight instead, just like that? Dead right, kid. You could be back in action. Feel real power cursing through your veins. This power! Why don't you spare me the fireworks? Go impress your own boys. My agents are not very impersonal at the moment because they're all dead. I want you to work for me, Lennox. Yes, and I really want to end up like the rest of your boys. Damn you, convincing. You're really starting to test my patience. But that big mouth of yours won't stop your former employees from putting a bullet in your brain. Ah, oh, you didn't see it coming? The ambush in the bar? Etherlight sees you as a threat that needs to be eliminated. Fast. I, on the other hand, am presenting you with an opportunity to repay Etherlight for sentencing you to be an ex-angel with interests. Surprised? I'm your only option for survival. Is that all you can offer? And think of all that power you'll have. Or maybe you get a real kick out of being a puny mortal. Sure, I get to wear those cozy woolen sweaters. And mittens. Mittens rock, you should try them. But you have a point here. Let me consult Mr. Dollar here. I'm in. Good. Now, feel the real power. This is power of the darkness. Furious anger. You have death with him. to pay me back for my charity. Hey, Black. Show me my new powers. Easy, Linux. We'll show you when it's essential to proceed. Ah, Temple Bear Cluster on the hill. It's perfect for an undercover facility, and it's your next destination. Okay. Assuming I get there intact, what do you want me to find there? Well, my top agent was killed there, and... Man, you're really great with inspirational speeches. Listen.
Okay, that wolf character. Wolf is in the big bad. Wolf's pretty harmless. His assistant, though, Elena Zuprov. She's no little red riding hood. That much I can tell you. Watch your back. Sure will. The fairy tales tend to have bloody endings. I will contact you about your progress over the communicator. Right. Can't wait. What brings you here, sir? This place is godforsaken. The whole world is godforsaken, Grandpa. I'm in front of the village church. Such places are not compatible with my force. You're an abyss agent now, Lennox, and you were given infernal mana. It's the source of the power you possess. Man, I'm a trained agent, remember? I know what freaking mana is. Then you should know that you lose it around churches and other heavenly infrastructure facilities. Your powers weaken. So, what makes them stronger? Yeah. Weird things are happening. And the book says... Then they struck plying the men who were trying to break down the door, leaving them groping in the dark. Lennox! Sorry, boss. Old habits die hard. Anyway, seems like they don't want visitors. I gotta find another way in.
Not yet. I can't find another entrance. Search the houses in the village. Be careful. Evil's approaching. I can feel it in the wind. Whatever happened to small town hospitality? Just a gloomy, dimly lit basement. Doesn't look very demonic to me. Darkness is... Our ally? Yeah, I see what you mean. Over and out. See, this better be good. Hell yeah. Note that these powerful shots cost you a lot of mana. Don't squander it. Use them only when it's necessary. You're such a killjoy man. Over. No, sir. Everything's all clear. Nothing suspicious, sir. No entry under any circumstances. Yes, sir. Are you in? Yes. 
Looks like the cloister basement. Find the way up to the main grounds. Yeah? Progress report. I had a small encounter with the guy in monk's robes, but we didn't get a chance to talk. He kind of died on me before proper introductions. Behold my power. Now get to that mortal's corpse and feed yourself on his soul. Why would I ever want to do that? To heal your wounds. I find it rather enjoyable. See for yourself. Cool. And weird. Which pretty much sums up my life. We've got intruder alert! Contact Kruger immediately. Tell him to double the guards in the railway cable station area. You really think anyone could get that far? We'd better not risk taking chances. And if someone manages to get to the upper monastery... Then what? Then we're all dead. The enemy's here!
freeze. there. Seems like we really have an intruder in the house. Who's guarding the cable station? The boss. Oh yeah? No happy ride for our guest then.
You there! It's looking good. There's another section of the monastery up on the hill just a cable car right away. We need to get rid of some big shot monk at the station first. So why aren't you there yet? Are you scared? More stuck than scared. Don't waste my time, Lennox. Get up there, now! Quit bitching, boss. I'm on my way. The enemy's here.
your status? I'm in a laser block tunnel. I think this is where some of your tricks could come in handy. So, you do need my advice after all, Lennox. About as much as you need my help, Black. Fair enough. One of the powers I gave you is teleportation. Use it carefully. It's tricky and can be dangerous in a beginner's hand. Well, your concern for my well-being brings tears to my eyes. I suppose it uses up a lot of mana. Indeed. But it is an essential power, Lennox. Leave the shadows. Show yourself. I'm comfortable right where I am. Thank you. Let there be light then. And we'll see how comfortable you feel, shadow creature.
Manhandle will be more accurate. He's dead. Well done. I know. I reached the upper cloister. Finally. You've been quite useless so far. It's high time you got wolf for me. Next time you're doing it all yourself. And what was that about Wolf's assistant? You should have paid attention. Over and out. Stand by for combat! Disturbance in the lower cloister! I see not only Etherlight is into high-tech gadgets. You underestimate the Abyss Tower, the most ingenious invention of mankind, were designed for the sole purpose of killing people more effectively. That sounds promising. What did I get? The vision that makes you able to see what a human eye normally doesn't. For example, mana and health sources. Well, hidden secrets. Treasure chests, pirate's bounty, yeah, I get it.
enemy bro oh. All assault over here
Professor Wolf. The laboratory is prepared according to your instructions. All machinery has been already transported. Your arrival is scheduled for tomorrow, 9 p.m. local time. I have personally taken care of all the details of the operation. Eleanor, your discipline is close to perfection. It is perfection, Professor. Brilliant, as always. How do you do that? I simply follow your orders. Now please hurry. The laboratory staff is expecting you. Hold on, Black. Wolf's left the cloister. Only his assistant's still around. How do you know that? Don't my talents just amaze you? Don't give yourself too much credit. I need you to find me anything to do with the technology. Anything. Acolytes, take up positions. Surround the enemy and open fire.
enemies here! Black, can you hear me? Lennox, how are you progressing? Things are looking up. I just stumbled onto something creepy. Looks like a high-tech torture chamber. Screens, restraint chairs, lots of switches. Good. Very good. It must be one of Wolf's labs and... And what? I need documentation. Anything related to his research. Maybe I'll find something on these computers. some fresh air, but yeah, I'm all right. We need to talk. I'll find a way to meet you. It's extremely important. And don't breathe a word about this. If anyone knows I contacted you, it's all over. Why does everyone want me to stop breathing all of a sudden? Be careful. Major Zubrov's in the cathedral now. She's someone who enjoys making people suffer. And it's her area of expertise. Don't move! Shit. We'll chat later. You there, hold it! You don't stand a chance!
platoon, formation. Second platoon, to the turrets. When the enemy approaches, open fire. Defend the cathedral. guest here has overstayed his welcome. I'll show him the door, sir. No need to be courteous about it, Major Zubrov. Certainly, sir. I'll <clears throat> steer him towards the light. I'm Major Eleanor Zubrov. So pleased to meet you. You've demolished everything that stood in your way so far. Impressive. Ryan Lennox at your service. You realize that you're kind of in my way, too? I am? Well, it won't be for long now. Make yourself at home, Mr. Lennox. on your colleagues, Zubrov. This one? His efficiency was found to be inadequate. Well, I'm not a scrawny lab tech. But I'm quite efficient, so I guess that might be trouble. Don't get your hopes up.
Oh, it's so disappointing. You're no fun at all. Strange. I'm having lots of fun. Maybe you should just get to know me better. I'm rather busy at the moment. Rain check. Really, but Eleanor left me some address and I just had a good taste of what to expect there. I think she really likes me, you know. She's really going out of her way to entertain me. I'm glad you find this amusing. But this is not the time for silly games. The address is our only lead. Get there as fast as you can. <laughs> 